A dream you dream alone is only a dream. A dream you dream together is reality. A dream doesn't become reality through magic. It takes sweat, determination and hard work. So we're here in the walled garden and some tough decisions, but we've had to make them. I think they've been good decisions though. Now we look at it, we were all a bit worried about taking them down, we really were, but the the view that it's opened up now yeah. is tremendous, absolutely beautiful, isn't it? And it's not a decision we take lightly to take trees out, it really isn't. It's something we didn't really want to do, but we can't return this to its formal setting. Yep unless we take these out. Yeah. So it, it, we're, we're caught between a rock and a hard place with it. We want to restore the original. We know these trees aren't planted, they're self-seeded. Um, we know they're about 30, 40 year old. We've counted them and it ties in exactly for how long it's been abandoned Compare, and they've yeah. just been left to, just to left go to grow. Up so. um, they, they are quite difficult to maintain as well. If we are going to have this as a nice formal garden, mm -hmm. the amount of fruit that they drop yeah. each season is, <laughs> is unreal. Yeah. Um, far too much for us to manage far too much we've already got lots of pear trees and apple trees around. cherry trees walnut what will be enough for yeah. us won't there so you know i mean and we're it, going to plant another load in the front field absolutely regardless. we yeah, already we've have already got some down yeah mm -hmm. so we're going to bash on with this today yeah we've got somebody coming over in the next month to help us make it beautiful yes mm -hmm. um got some great ideas for the mm -hmm. garden for us so we're going to mm -hmm. plan on that i think they've worked in some quite important places as yeah well, absolutely Very so important. we're really looking forward to them coming yeah. over next month we'll, we'll have them all on video yeah mm -hmm. so for now let's get these down mm -hmm size of the roots are unreal um <laughs> it's big as you it's as tall as you that one yeah. but yeah we'll get them down and get started are Come you helping then. yeah i'm helping how are the monkey
So I'm all excited and it's thanks to the sponsor of today's video which is Dorilla. Now I've had some of the best night's sleep I've ever had the last couple of days because I've had one of their pillows and oh, I, I can honestly say they are a brilliant, brilliant product. It's a inexpensive pillow but it's got all the characteristics of something you'd pay an absolute fortune for. Um, I'm an awkward sleeper, I, I sleep on my back, I sleep on my side and this supports you in every single way. The way it's ergonomically designed, the way that you can just rest your head into it and it just cushions your whole body. Um, it supports your neck, it supports your back. It, it, like I say, it, it's really helped me get a good night's sleep. I was so excited. I went and got Terry one as well because I wanted him to experience what I've experienced. And that's why we're presenting this to you as well because I know that if you try this, it's, it's something that'll really, really enhance and give you a good night's sleep. It's made with some of the finest materials you're gonna find. It's got NASA inspired memory foam in it. Um, it, like I say, it's just something that we absolutely love. They're confident in the product. They're gonna give you a 30 day money back guarantee. Not only that, if you click the link in the description, they're gonna give you 70% off your, your Dorilla pillow as well. Like I said, they're not expensive anyway, so to get that sort of offer, it's not gonna last for long. So check them out. I'm gonna go and put this on for Terry, and yeah, get this done. So we've got all the big guns here, got the tractor out, got the digger going. We are just in the process of taking the biggest tree down. Now, my concern with it was that all the way it's on the far side and I don't want to go in at the building. So we've strapped it up with the tractor just to make sure it doesn't go anywhere. If you suddenly see the tractor fly off into the air, then it is where it is. But no, we've done it so that we can pull it this way, we can cut into it. We've cut around the roots on the far side so that really the only place it can fall is this way now, um, if it was to just go over. So we've done what we can, made it safe. We are now gonna start cutting into it and hopefully it falls the right way. Good job done? A fantastic job done, absolutely amazing. Can't believe the size of it, <laughs> when you see it like this. It's a bit scary, the size of the hall is proper scary. Though. And the work it's took to actually just pull it over. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean everything's intact, the wall's fine, there's not a bit of earth being disturbed there, so that's brilliant. We were a bit yeah. worried about that, weren't we? But everything's fine, everything's spot on, exactly how we wanted it to go. Mm -hmm. Uh, Ash was pulling the tractor, but our friends fantastic helped us. Yeah, without um, them, we would, I know, yeah, we'd I know. still be doing they this. They are so good to us, yeah. they really are. We have made some amazing friends since we've been here. They know who they are and they just they yeah. do anything for us. So yeah. We can't thank them enough. 
chopper it's down and now it's down to chopping which is probably going to take about a week i'd say a week yeah basically. we'll get it all chopped up yeah. and then we get it logged and split mm -hmm. and yeah there's enough firewood here to do us for God two knows years i'd say easily two years easily by the time we get it all split and piled up dried out yeah at least we'll have wood for winter but we better go and start chopping come on then It's been a good few days' work. Oh, yeah, difficult but good. Yeah, I've enjoyed it. Yeah, mm. it's been nice to be back out in the garden and be outside again. <laughs> back to digging. And when the sun shines out here, it's <laughs> yes. just beautiful. It yeah. is. It has been wonderful. The last few days has been tremendous. Yeah. So we've got a couple of root balls to get rid of now, um, a couple of the last logs to get chopped up, ready for splitting, mm. and then we'll be on to just soften out, really, yeah. rotivate we, it. Yeah, yeah. We just want like the blank canvas, don't we? Yeah. Um, uh, so the next thing is we've got lots of nasty shoots growing along the walls, haven't we? We yep. need to get all them out, so that's the next step. Yep. But we have got one left, yeah. but we don't know what to do with. So this tree here, Terry wanted to keep in because it frames the chateau. When you're down in the bottom field in the secret garden, mm -hmm. it just frames it lovely. Mm -hmm. But now he's umming and ahhing as to whether he wants to keep it. So <laughs> what do you think? Should we keep it? Should we take it out? Again, it's self-seeded. It's it's not the prettiest. It's not pretty, but the only problem is now when you're sitting on the stairs there, it blocks your view. Now we've took all the others, and the views are absolutely amazing. Mm -hmm. And that one blocks your view. It, yeah. And we sit there and it's like, mm, we think it should come now. It, I mean, it, we don't know what it's going to grow like anyway. The, a lot of the trees we've took out are die. They have died. Yeah, yeah. The, the, they, they the, were the, half the termites dead. Termites and and. So a lot of them we've took out, they did need to come out, it was a necessity. Yeah. This one I think looks like it's a bit beyond its... Uh, Sell by date. Yeah, <laughs> just a bit. So let us know, we think it should come out. 
Ash, I think, likes it to stay. I, I just like think it. it's cute now. I was the one so. that wanted to take it out, and mm. now I just there's something about it now. With it being the only one here, it feels a bit different. Yeah. When it was in a garden full of trees, mm. it didn't really. Do you just feel sorry for it? Now? Yeah. <laughs> Boo tree. Yeah. But uh, a lot of the garden, as Terry said, we, we're getting ready for the formal garden now, and there's going to be a lot of symmetry in it, I think. And a little old tree sat there. Might not work in the symmetry. <laughs> Let so, us know what you think. We'll go yeah. with what you guys think. And yeah, we'll we always do. So thank you for watching. We hope you've enjoyed today's episode. It's been a, a really good one for us. Being back outside, we've absolutely loved it. Um, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. It really does help us. And lots of you have said you're not getting notifications and that. Just make sure you've got the little bell clicked that says all notifications, just so you don't miss an episode if you are missing them. Mm -hmm. And we will see you in the next show. If you'd like to be part of our journey and help restore the chateau, then please join us on Patreon, where you'll be part of our journey, receive a piece of the history, and get exclusive videos.